friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and today we are going to be doing a Whole30 grocery haul. I did go ahead and pick up a bunch of groceries because if you don't know, I am planning on starting the Whole30 diet on September the 1st. So I'm not sure if you're actually going to be watching this before September 1st or after, probably after. But anyways, I am doing a Whole30. It is a super strict diet which eliminates alcohols, sugars, legumes, grains, dairy from your diet, and it is an elimination diet which uh, you focus on whole foods. So a large part of Whole30 is cutting out inflammatory foods from your diet which can trigger an immune response in people, and it is great for getting insight into what foods may be causing negative reactions in the body. Some of the reasons why I was super excited to try this was because I really need to reset my relationship with food. I feel like even though I've been doing keto for so long, when I go off of keto or when I have like a binge off of keto, I just go really hard and I run to all of the processed foods, all of the sugars, all of the bad things. So I want to totally reset my body, get myself off of all sugars, even artificial sugars. And I want to kind of see what messes with my stomach because sometimes I do have digestion issues. So that is one of the reasons why I'm super excited to do the Whole30 because I think that dairy is a sneaky cold for me but there's no way of knowing until I do this so I wanted to take you guys through and show you everything that I picked up today at the grocery store we did go to Safeway and Hagen's and so all of these items can be picked up at your local grocery store and anything that I think I can link down below I'll definitely do that in the description box for you guys and if you're new here my name is Brittany I post a lot of motherhood content and right now I'm on my postpartum fitness journey my youngest son is one so I am still postpartum even though it's a year I am working on just getting my body into really good shape and I focus on different healthy eating and meal planning and things like that so if those are the kinds of videos and content that you are interested in make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from me and also make sure you hit the little notification bell so that you don't miss any surprise uploads so let's go ahead and get on into today's video all right so I'll start over here with my some of the fruits and stuff that I have left over. So I picked up a container of apples and I'm super excited because you can have apples on the Whole30 diet. And when I was doing keto, I could not have apples. So I am really excited about that. I also picked up a container of blueberries and I have a bag of grapes here. And then I got two of these little containers of seaweed snacks just for snacking purposes. I plan on snacking a lot on like fruits and veggies and just like little things like this. So I got these. I got this four pack of corn from my Safeway. And then I also picked up some organic roasted unsalted cashews because I wanna make like some cashew cream sauce and different things like that. So I wanted to get those. And I also picked up uh, some of these chia seeds because I don't know, maybe I'll do some chia seed pudding, but these are just really good with fiber uh, and things like that. So I wanted to make sure I had some of that on hand. And then I also picked up some of these pistachios. My husband really likes these and they said that I could have them as well. So just gonna have it on hand for snacks. I got a red onion and some of these mandarin little oranges here. My daughter really loves these, but I can have them as well. And then I did pick up this container of watermelon and this was $5, but I honestly feel like this will be gone in like a day or two. So that is everything I got right over here. And then to carry on with the vegetables, I did get two of these roasted sweet potatoes. Well, they're not roasted, but they will be. I got two of these sweet potatoes. I got two cucumbers back there. I've got a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. I've got three crowns of broccoli because broccoli is a huge staple in our house. We kind of have it with almost every, every dinner meal, it seems like. I got some mushrooms. I got a bag of Brussels sprouts. And then I did pick up some of these frozen green giant foods just for when I'm feeling like I don't have time to prep or it's a work day or something. So I got some of these sweet potato rotini um, veggie spirals. And then I also picked up this sweet potato and cauliflower tots, which looked really good to me. So I'm super excited for those. And then I also picked up just this cauliflower rice medley. I like this because it's kind of like uh, stir fry rice with like the peas and carrots and things like that. So I like that. And then moving right along, I found some of this Hempler's Uncured Center Cut No Sugar Added Natural Applewood Smoked Bacon. So this is Whole30 approved per the ingredients. So I did pick this up. This was a little 
it's kind of expensive, guys. I think it was like $6.99 or $7.99 or something, which is a lot more than what we normally spend on bacon, but that's okay because I love bacon, so I'm willing to spend a little bit on it. I did pick up some of these traditional guacamole cups. Normally, I get these from Costco, but we didn't go to Costco today, so I just wanted to have four cups on hand uh, just for like breakfast foods or to throw on salads or that kind of thing. Um, I picked up some of this Forager Cashew Milk Yogurt, the Unsweetened Plain. I was really excited that there is plant-based yogurt that I could still have, which is Whole30 approved, so I'm really excited to still throw together little parfaits and things like that. So moving right along to protein, I picked up this whole roasted chicken. This is already cooked, so this will be super easy to eat on uh, for a meal and then maybe do something with the leftovers, either make a stock or a soup or something. And then I picked up these safe catch tuna here. Let me see if this will focus. Okay, so I picked up this Safe Catch Wild Pacific Salmon, and this brand was actually Whole30 approved because the ingredients are only pink salmon, sea salt, and that's it. So basically, it's just the fish in the salmon and salt. So I, I looked up online, and this Safe Catch brand in particular was something that was Whole30 approved. So I did pick up two cans of the pink salmon, and then I also picked up the Safe Catch Bag Wild uh, Tuna, and this is in citrus pepper. I just grabbed two bags of this. I thought I could make like tuna salads and quick and easy things for lunch or work and stuff like that to stay on track. And then I also picked up this Applegate Organics uh, sausage. I got the chicken and apple sausage, and then I got the mild sweet Italian sausage. I heard lots of good things about this. So it's gluten and casein free, no nitrates or nitrites added, and totally Whole30 approved. These were also $7.99 a piece, so this was pretty expensive. And then... The last few things that I picked up were just like some pantry essentials. Um, I picked up some of this almond butter. This is the bar. This is Barney butter, and it's bare smooth almond butter, no added sugar or salt, and it's made in a peanut-free facility. I don't know if that matters to anybody or not, but literally in the ingredients list says almonds and palm fruit oil, and that's it. So, this. Is awesome and then I also picked up two cans of coconut milk because I'm planning on using coconut milk in my coffee I also picked up a can of this organic coconut cream by organics you can use a ton of different um, like cheese alternative kind of things with coconut cream so I wanted to make sure I had some of this on hand and then I did pick up these nut pods for my coffee I got one in French vanilla this is like a uh, dairy-free unsweetened sweetener which is a Approved. As you can see, it's got the little Whole30 sticker down there. So if you want to check that out on certain foods, it's there. And that's awesome that they do that. And then I also picked up the hazelnut flavor. I am a coffee girl all day. so And I just realized that I really wanted to have something um, that sort of resembles like my normal coffee. So I'm excited about this. I also picked up a container of organic chicken bone broth. And this... That's TJ down there on the floor. TJ. Hi. Yeah. Um, so moving right along to sauces, I did not pick up a, a, a mayonnaise, but I did pick up this Stonewall Roasted Garlic Aioli, which I'll kind of use in place of mayonnaise. It's a, got a mayonnaise base with roasted garlic and a touch of mustard, so I felt like this would be like really tasty in a lot of dishes, especially like the tuna and stuff like that, so I picked this up. This is by the brand Stonewall Kitchen. And then I also picked up some primal kitchen ketchup. This is Whole30 approved, organic unsweetened ketchup. I gotta have some kind of like sauces, guys, to survive on something like this. I also picked up some coconut aminos, which is a soy-free alternative to soy sauce. I did have some, oh my gosh, what is that stuff called? Uh, like the other aminos, but I didn't realize that it was soy bait or that it wasn't Whole30 approved because it wasn't all coconut. So I picked this up and this is gluten-free, no MSG, vegan, totally approved, good stuff. 
And then I did pick up two flavors of the Synergy Kombucha. I got the Ginger Aid and I got the Guava Goddess. I'm really nervous because typically I drink nothing but water all day long, but I use Mio Drops in my water and I just found out that I cannot drink Mio. So I'm excited to add different drinks into a day I'll probably do like one half of these a day or something just to get something different on my palate than just plain old water I also picked up some of this fresh cilantro salsa this is um, a local company that we have uh, so it was approved because literally the ingredients are just tomatoes and cilantro and onions so I went ahead and picked this up and then I did get a container of ghee. This is by the Carrington Garden, Carrington Farms brand. And this is clarified butter. So this is something that is approved on the Whole30 diet. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up this week in the grocery haul. All right, friends, that is everything that I picked up today. I hope that you guys got some good ideas. Drop down in the comments and let me know if you guys would like to see more what I eat in a day style videos on the Whole30 or if you'd like to me to focus more on Whole30 approved recipes and things like that, let me know in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. Ah! And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.